Friends and fellow gamers, welcome back to Adventure with Roger. Today I'm going to be checking out core gaming development in a game called Star Colony. It was recently published as part of the Core Invitational by a group called Mantle Games. Before we get started though, I'd just like to say in no way was I asked to make this video or approached by anyone. I'd love any feedback you could give me in the comments, that would be wonderful. And please subscribe if this is your first time here. I cover all kinds of gaming content and I really appreciate you joining me here today. Without any further ado guys, so here I have them pulled up on the core gaming development world. I did a search for Mantle Games. Turns out that they have a, the game that we're going to cover today called Star Colony. Like I said, we're still going to we're just going to check out Star Colony today. And I did try to get a little bit more information on Mantle Games by clicking on their link right here, but it, unfortunately, it pulled up a website that um, did not want to pull up. So that's unfortunate. Anyways, not a huge deal. Let's go ahead and resume our game here. All right, Star Colony. Look at this world, guys. Honestly, I've played hundreds of games in my life. This is a gorgeous world, I'm not gonna lie. I also did a few quests already, so Apologize for that, but after I played it a little for about five minutes, I realized I had to make a video about this game. So what I did is I talked to this Avril right here, and I did like a beginner quest, and she took me to another area. I can mount up in this game, but I'm not going to because I just want to kind of take it all in and enjoy the experience. I got this little floating robot that follows me around. It's pretty awesome. Look at this hallway, guys. Look at the reflections and how beautiful it is. It truly reminds me of something you would see in a futuristic spaceport. It's freaking fantastic. Great job, guys. Look at this hallway right here. This is something I want to see in like a multi-million dollar production game. I mean, it's just beautiful. Then I talked to this guy right here, Osric. I hope I didn't screw up my game by... Um, logging out and logging back in but he had me collect some flowers and return it to him in this little arboretum area which is really pretty then i came back here a little bit farther look at this medical bay everything you see in here by the way guys is all done with 3d objects and and made by people then i came back here and i talked to rion He had me do a couple of quests and gave me my blaster here. Oh cool, he gave it back to me. And he gave me this freaking sweet looking spacesuit right here. And the ability to use this mining laser on rocks and then collect it and, and give it back to him. So that was really cool. So now he wants me to go this way. and head back over here and it looks like my quest is talk to Jane Doe. There's also a relic event going on. Now my face on the screen is actually covering my my name, health bar, and what level I am which is level 3. So apologies for that but I had to stick my face in there somewhere. Wow look at the train pulling up! How cool is that? Let's make sure we make it on the train. Look at this, guys. I have odd a bullet train. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Looks like we went through an instance on the train, so that's pretty neat. I'm almost sad I didn't explore a little bit more now. Oh, look at the floor. This is just freaking sweet. Look at this. It's like a little robot that's, I don't know, what's it, like clean? Is it like a cleaning robot? Oh, that is sick! Skytrex. Oh, wow! This reminds me of something I would want to see in like a Star Wars game. Look how cool that is. Alright, let's talk to Jane Doe. Welcome to Cyberhan City. Looking for directions? Complete. Nice. Hello there. Are you new around here? Worry not. Just go up the escalator to your left 
and speak with Celia over at the info desk. She'll help you guide your way around here. Thanks, Jane Doe. Look at this, guys. And a working escalator. How cool is that? Very cool. Celia. Wow, she's she's pretty. Like, Greetings, citizen. How may I assist you today? Oh, need some info. Do you go ahead and ask for what you need? I see you're looking for some directions. Straight ahead is the consumable shop and refinery. To the left is our state-of-the-art rocket starburst. And over to the right is the bank. The bank isn't functional as of now. Okay, so we're still in development. That's cool, guys. Oh, there's been a theft recently. I like it. Poor Marcus is being accused of being involved in the theft. Sigh. I wish I could help you somehow. Nice, guys. Appreciate the story. Awesome. Okay, very cool textures, guys. Very cool. I love the aesthetic here. Big sci-fi freak, so... Okay, so we have some stairs going up. Kick! Look at this kick-ass rocket they made! That is freaking sweet, dude! Look at the stars in the sky. How cool is that? Alright. Very, very cool, guys. Love it. Here's a refinery. Okay. This machine enables you to refine your raw resources into the refined form. For every refined unit, you need 10 of that raw resource and stardust, and 10 stardust. This observation costs a flat fee of 100. Okay. So I need to go get some resources. I'm pretty sure I do that with the mining laser. So resale shop, you got nothing in here, nothing to sell. Item shop. There's a med kit. Oh, I have 300 zen, huh? What's a med kit do for me? I'm gonna buy a med kit. Okay, hit the eye. What do I have? I have equipment. Basic pistol, mining laser MK1, and a med kit. Purge started. <gasps> I don't know what that is. How? Oh, that's exciting. This is a sweet looking med bay. I like it. All right, I'm going up here to the bank to talk to banker Marcus. Look at this cool waterfall. Hi there, unfortunate we are not tending to any customers as of now. Please come back later. Complete. Alright, he has a quest for me. Sin City. Oh, so you heard about the robbery from Slaya. Man, that info desk really gives all the info, doesn't it? Truth is, I'm being held accountable for the theft by the Orion Bank. They think I was directly involved in it. I know it's a lot to ask, but could you help me clear my name? I'll reward you handsomely if you do. Search for clues in the Undercity, you might find something. Alright. I d will accept. I will accept, Marcus. I'll be back, buddy. All right, the Undercity. I have no idea how to get there, but it's all part of the adventure. I feel like I need to go down the escalator. Oh, snap. Oh, crap. Oh! <laughs> I think I found a shortcut. <laughs> Travel center. Okay. That's how you get back, I think, right, th right through there. Look at these cool shields these guys have. Oh no! Okay, downtown street. That's what I, I want to go back this way. How cool is this, guys? Look at this. Nice. Okay. Look at this, badass. This reminds me of Blade Runner. But seriously, doesn't this little, like, area right here remind you of Blade Runner when he sits down at the table and it's raining outside? So cool, man. So cool. Oh, look at these awesome signs. Best music, listen to the best music. Equinox, I want to advertise here. That is a really cool idea. It's like the uh, the sign from the band called The Midnight right there. That is so cool. I love The Midnight, that's such a good band. Been to a couple of their concerts in Denver, Colorado. Tech Trash, res resale shop. Okay, got some med kits for me. All right, cool. Tattoos. New life AI. Uh, let's go. Let's go check out our quest. This is really cool, man. I just want to sit down and role play with some people at like these little diners and so. Shady dealer. The bank was robbed. I don't know anything about that, pal. <laughs> <laughs> sure you don't. That means he definitely knows something, am I right guys? Listen here pal, if you need any information around this part of town, you gotta pay some of that sweet sweet zen. Catch my drift? 100 zen and I'll... Alright, alright. Better talk. There we go, now we're in business. Alright, so I did overhear some dudes in the back alley by the resale shop, Tech Trash, making some plans about a bank robbery. That's all I know. When they say that's all they know, 
That means they definitely know more. But that's all right. We got a lead. Got my pistol. My pistola. The purge ended. Look at this cop car, dude. This is freaking awesome. Oh, I definitely want to get a tattoo later. Look at this. It's like a line to get in. That's pretty cool. Storage. Border. Control. Alright. Let's go see about uh, kicking some bad men in the face. Okay, I can't get in right there, I don't think. Oh, I can. 14 meters. Andreas. Bank robbery. Don't know nothing about that. Bugger off, kid. Don't want any trouble now, do you? Wait a minute. How about you scratch my back and I scratch yours? You see, I lost my ID card somewhere and now I got stuck here. Those darn drones scam me without an ID. I'm done for. If you manage to retrieve my ID cards, then maybe I'll let you... Okay, alright. 26 meters. Are these the drones he's talking about? Because they're scary looking. That looks like an ID card. Nice and easy, I like it. Let's come over here. You found it! Yeah, I did. Truth is... Ooh, level four! Very cool. I was deceived by fellow partner in crime. He goes by the name Mr. Jiggs. He took my ID card telling me he'd replicate a fake, but he used it to rob the blank and flood the planet. Alright, let's put the smack down on Mr. Jiggs. Oh, it looks like they want us to go talk to our, uh, our Marcus at the bank. Now I just gotta remember where the elevator is to go up. This is really cool. Look at all these little areas. Okay, there's there's our there's where we want to go. These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> it wants me to go off world. No way. That is cool, man. Collect Jig's ID, huh? Okay. Choose a destination. Okay. Look at this. One, two, three, four different places to go. Grogon 4. There are records of a remote, faraway planet that matches this one exactly. Launch me. <laughs> Alright. I'm so excited to see what this is going to look like. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Adrian. Go up to the upper portion of the city and travel to Gorgon 4 using the spaceship starbers. Okay. Check command post. Kill raptors. Accept. Mushrock and Grok. I'm in. I love kill quests. What is that thing? Okay, not a hostile. Oh, I was just hoping it wasn't like some kind of floating jellyfish. Oh, what you, it's collidable and it blows up when it, that's very cool. I have an arrow pointing this way. Let's head this way. Run for it, Marty! In my outer rounds? No, I still got some. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Reload. Whoa! Oh, I'm down! I was looking for the little one and there was the big one up there on the, on the hill that was taking me down. I know this the water is swimmable. Is your stuff is there like a breath meter or something I have to watch out for in the water? There is an oxygen meter, okay. But it is pretty hefty. Quite a large. Okay, so I'm out of the water and I'm still running out of oxygen, so that's a that's a problem. I gotta find a way to Aha! The bubbles! Now I know what that, why they're collidable. And ex Very cool. The bubbles give you oxygen, so you don't die. So we need to keep a lookout for those as well. Somehow I think he's just gonna drop like a couple of coins, so that'll be like sad face. 
Oh no! Oh, come on! What are you doing, bro? Somebody else comes back and kills that guy before I get back here. I'm gonna be freaking pissed. I can't believe I died. I just not paying attention, man. He's over here somewhere. <gasps> oh no! What did you do? Oh shit. Where am I? I have no idea where I am right now. So this is uh unfortunate. Where's the way out? This looks promising. It'd be cool if this was an Easter egg of some kind. down here shooting something. This guy moves around a lot. My goodness. Extremely hard to shoot this guy. Like these guys know like oh god <laughs> I'm out of here man I don't want to fight him again do I this is Mr. Jigs this is part of that quest line I just realized what this guy's name was oh that guy took aggro yeah <laughs> every time I kill this guy I level it's ridiculous all right did I get Return to Banker Marcus. I did complete the quest. Kill Raptors, we're done. Yes. Kill Mushrocks, complete. We just need gr four more Grocks. One. Yes. Victory or death! Congratulations, Starfighter. Woohoo! Don't mind me, guys. I'm just passing through. <laughs> yeah! Nice! Anyone that knows me knows I love fish and I love plants. And this reminds me of something that I would be totally interested in, which is aquaponics. Oh, nice. Hydrotronics. That is pretty cool. I like Star Colony badges. There's a quest. I like quests. Wendy Ware. It's not here. How could it have lost it? I've been so much trouble now. Oh, citizen, I've lost my data device somewhere, and without it, we cannot continue our research on the relic. Please report if you have this data card. She's definitely crying right now. We got a quest. I have a quest that says return to Grogon command post. I don't know why, but it wants me to. This is... I hope you guys are listening. This is fantastic. I absolutely, positively am in love with this room right here, guys. This is by far the coolest room I've been in so far in this game. This is fucking amazing. Excuse my fridge, guys. So awesome. This is like a dream room of mine that I would want to have in real life. There's like mist coming down, but you're not getting... I mean, it's just... This is awesome. I love the neon lights on top of the on bottom of each one of these because that is how you grow aquaponics in real life, guys. You have dirt or water underneath plants and you have a light up above them. And then I mean, right now if you were to do this in real life, it would just be a shelf 
But since it's the future, they're all floating. And it's just awesome looking. That's pretty cool. They're experimenting on that big cube. Let's do red crystal. Yes. Let's do this crystal. Yes. That space station or whatever that is up there is really cool. It also kind of reminds me of a, uh, a warp station where you fly your sh ship into it and it helps you warp to like another planet. Okay, well I have a quest that says return to Grogon command post and I'm trying to check the command post but it's not pulling anything up. So that said, it's been two hours and I think I'm going to uh, end this video right here and uh, edit it up and give you guys a uh, pros and cons. Let's get to it. This is kind of a nightmare. I wish I never would have started shooting this guy. Alright guys, let's talk about some pros and cons real fast that I got here. First off, I just want to say the aesthetic of the game is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you realize how beautiful the world is pretty much from the time you enter it. It just continues to get better and better. I especially love the uh, indoor arboretum and the aquaponics bay. It's so fantastic. I, I love it. The gameplay is very smooth and optimized. I didn't find myself lagging or falling through floors. I didn't find anything that was out of place. It, everything just fit really nicely. Um, there was little hidden things that mattered a lot like the air bubbles on the red planet and the uh, the plants that had the little jump height mechanism which was really cool. I was absolutely in love with the lower city and the aesthetic of the lower city. It reminded me of like a cross between something between Blade Runner and the, the wet rain and the futuristic element to it. A little bit of fifth element maybe is just awesome. I can't say enough good things about the designers of this world and the aesthetic of it. Just in love with it. Some of the cons I had, it was a little bit hard to find much about it that was bad actually, but I some once in a while I find myself wondering, I was wondering where to go quite a bit. Like where, what was the next thing I needed to do? There was no clear guide on it, which in my opinion isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it was a little bit difficult sometimes to find what was happening next. And then there was one instance where I had something telling me to go somewhere and talk to this command center. And then when I would click on it, nothing would happen. So that was a little bit confusing. Another thing I found that bugged me a little bit was after about two hours of playing, I still don't know what to do with the ore that I've been collecting. And some of the monsters in the game had 25, 30,000 health. And I'm running around with a little pit laser pistol that does 25 damage per shot. So killing some of those big monsters with that little wimpy pistol was a little bit time consuming and a little bit um, monotonous, I guess. They did give quite a bit chunk of experience though, which was nice. I just would have appreciated... I don't know appreciated, but... I thought there would be a little bit more of a reward maybe for killing those monsters with so much health with the little gun that does 25 damage. Um, the only other little, I guess it's kind of a nitpick almost, is that the gun didn't fit very well in my hand. It felt like I was holding it from the bottom of the stock, almost like my hand didn't fit on the gun very well. So that was a little bit weird. Um, overall guys, I gotta say my time playing this game so far has just been absolutely amazing. It's like you're developing a triple a game it's awesome i look forward to playing it more i'll definitely be back thanks a lot guys for uh putting this up for everyone in the uh core gaming development i look forward to playing it more i honestly can't say enough good things about this game i i hope you guys continue to develop it and uh it just gets better and better with all that being said guys i look forward to maybe talking with you about it in the uh core gaming development discord and just uh seeing where you guys want to go with it here in the future and how far you're going to go with it uh see what you guys have uh in the future and what you guys are working on now i'd also just like to say to everyone out there that's watching this core gaming development platform take shape if that maybe this is your first time to my channel thank you so much for tuning in first of all my name is roger i'd really appreciate it if you guys could like comment and subscribe this video it helps me out tremendously guys i'm a very small youtuber and i'm trying to grow my channel obviously i'd like to uh, get as many people in the community as possible i try to make my content something that just anyone can 
relax a watch and of any age. Please feel free to check out any of my gaming playlists or any of my other YouTube videos. I'll leave a link in the description. Once again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Roger, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care of yourself, everyone.